I checked the fridge before I left and I told myself I'm just gonna get a couple things. And I ended up spending $167. So I'm gonna go through what I bought at Trader Joe's. I'm gonna sample and review them. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and of course, always share. So let's jump into this two bag. Trader Joe's haul, I don't know what I bought. <laughs> Okay, I'm just getting back from Trader Joe's and I spent $167. So I am gonna go through all of this. If you're watching this live on Instagram, I will be doing a Q&A at the end of this. So stick around for the end and I will be doing a Q&A. Um, but let's jump in. I got $167 worth of things. Before I left, I checked the fridge to see what I needed and I thought surely this will be a small haul and it kind of is, but it also got out of hand. Um, so the first thing that I didn't plan on buying, but I bought, was organic coconut smoothie. This is just really good. It's refreshing and delicious, and it's organic, and it's organic coconut water, organic coconut. It's just refreshing. So good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Can make so much with coconut. I'm just gonna drink it. Um, I'm trying to incorporate more fiber into my diet, so I'm gonna make a kale salad. I used to make kale salads all the time but make sure you massage your kale. You really have to massage your kale or kale's not great. So I'm gonna massage it and then I'm gonna put some pomegranate seeds, some goat cheese feta, and what else? Some sliced almonds. And then the dressing's gonna be olive oil, a little bit of honey, garlic, um, mix it all together with some salt so I get the desired taste. And then that will be my salad. Tonight we're gonna make tacos. I just dropped the receipt. Uh, so I got shredded cabbage. I picked up these pumpkin overnight oats. They're re really, really good, and they're not pumpkin spice overnight oats. It's just pumpkin. So the ingredients I love, it's just um, water, pumpkin puree, date paste, rolled oats, almond butter, cinnamon, sea salt, and nutmeg. I've sampled these in the past. If you want to see my review, you can go to traderjoeslist.com and type in overnight oats, and you'll find it. But it's really, really good. It's just super neutral flavor. I love pumpkin overall. It's just a... Yummy thing, and I'm gonna add a little bit of protein powder to it just to amp it up. And I picked up some more of the Borson Dairy-Free Garlic and Herbs. This has just become my favorite snack with the little crackers, which are somewhere in here, little rice crackers, but this is absolutely delicious, so good. Here's the goat cheese. Oh, it's crumbled goat cheese. It's not goat feta. It's just crumbled goat cheese. I really like this stuff. All topping yard. This goes with my favorite snack of the Borson with the, the crackers, I do this too. So it's all topping yod, Borson, and crackers. Try it, you'll, you'll see what the hype's all about, well my hype. Pomegranate seeds, Trader Joe's does have these. They're, I don't know if they have them year round, round, but they do have them right now. And they're good and you put them in salads, yummy. Here is what I bought for tacos. I'm gonna make fish tacos tonight. I got Alaskan cod. If you buy the pieces versus the fillets, it's about $5 cheaper. So you can really save money on that. And the pieces are great for tacos because when you make tacos, you don't need a whole fillet. So I just always recommend getting the pieces. Works better. And then they thaw pretty quick, so you can just set them out an hour before you want to use it, or you can keep them in the fridge overnight and they'll be nice and thawed in the morning. Oh, I'm excited to try this. This is a new cheese. It's called Toma Truffle Point Rays. Pair me with wine, melt me into pasta or risotto. Both those things are delicious. Fold me into scrambled eggs. I'm just going to try it. I love truffles, so let's let's give this a try. Okay, once again, it's always me versus the cheese wrapper. Forever. Let's see. Oh, it definitely has a nice truffle smell. So if you don't like truffles, then this would not be for you, but I love truffles, so. Give me all the truffle and I'm a happy, happy girl. The risotto option with this sounds phenomenal. A tip when you make risotto is um, save your Parmesan cheese rinds or your Pecorino Romano rinds and you put that into the risotto when you're making it. You take them out at the end, but it adds like a really, really nice flavor. Okay, we're just trying to get into the cheese at this point. It has maximum security. And I'm trying not to like touch it with my hands because then I feel like it keeps it from getting moldy if you can try not to touch it with your hands. Okay, here it is. This is the Point Raised cheese. Mm. 
Mmm. Oh, wow. If you like truffles, this is really good. I see why they would recommend putting it into it, um, like a, a cheese, like melting it so in a risotto or into a pasta because it kind of has a bit of a tang to it. Mmm. It's a sharpness. But the truffle flavor is really, really good. Wow. That's super good. If you see it, check it out. Yummy. Mmm. I picked up chicken tikka masala. This one's in the refrigerated section, not the frozen section. I don't know. There's always those days where you just crave Indian food, so that's why I picked this up. And Trader Joe's says Indian food very well, in my opinion. Um, some almond beverage, and then I picked up, I'm having some friends over on Sunday. So planning ahead, I picked up a pumpkin cheesecake for dessert. So I feel like that'll be good. I think you just have to like set it out. You def oh, defrost in the fridge for four to six hours or overnight. And then you leave it at room temperature for one to two hours before serving. So, and once thawed, keep refrigerated and consume within five days. But this will be really good. All of their cheesecakes are good. You can always, and not saying I've done this, but I definitely have. <laughs> you ever have to go to a party and you want to like look like you made a cheesecake? You could just put it on like a really cool serving tray and then put some berries on top and bring it. And then quietly people are like, oh, who made this beautiful cheesecake? And the secrets with me. I know. Uh, I also picked up, I haven't bought these in a while because these are just like my favorite snack and I'm trying to eat less processed foods at the moment, but I think it's good to sometimes indulge yourself in things that taste good and make you happy. So I picked up some more jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. Those are good. For tonight, tacos. I love the quinoa tortillas. These are so good. I just wish the West Coast carried the little almond tortillas that Trader Joe's has. Um, you can find them, I know you can find them in Miami, so I was there, but... Got the quinoa tortillas, um, freeze dried strawberries for my cereal in the morning. My magic spoon cereal. Here are the little crackers I do the borson dip and the topping up with. These little crackers are so good. My favorite ones are the tamari, but they didn't have those. They just had the savory, so I picked these up. And I love these for cheese boards too because the cracker to cheese ratio is really up to you. You can grab two crackers if you want more cracker to cheese, or you could do one cracker and pick your selected slice of cheese. So I, that's just why I like it. It's a great vehicle for transporting any sort of dip or cheese into your mouth. Chamomile tea, it's turning into fall. I like getting cozy at night. I like making myself cups of tea. So I got the organic chamomile tea. Always get organic teas when you see them. Um, the tea leaves, if you think about them, they're sprayed with things. You just don't wanna be sipping on that. So just when you can buy organic, I mean, it's not gonna kill you if you don't, but just being aware of what's going on with the tea leaves. Um, so this is actually a really good tea. I like it. Sometimes I'll do two tea bags because I feel like they're a little thin, but not all the time. I picked up raspberries. They look decent and they did have the organic ones. So picked up some raspberries, some pasta, some yellow lentil and brown rice pasta. I really like this one. It has extra protein, 14 grams in one of the servings. Really, really good. Three grams of fiber to dish. These, I haven't seen this in forever. It's back, the savory banana and nuts prec mix. If you haven't had it, so you might be thinking, Natasha, you don't like bananas, which is very true, but the way they've done this banana, it's savory and they've crisped it. So you actually don't taste a banana. It's more of a plantain. Mm. I used to get this all the time. And then they stopped carrying it. And now it seems like it's back. It makes me happy. I picked up some dried bean cherries again. <laughs> more fiber. These are really good. They're unsweetened, unsulfured. The bag looks kind of gross because they sweated in here, but they're actually really, really, really good. Um, if you have like a sweet tooth and you're trying to eat less like chocolate, like me, <laughs> um, grabbing something like this is a great option because you're getting the fiber with the natural sugars. Um, It'll really hit the sweet spot. Mmm, let's go. Another one. I feel like, you know, you're getting older when you buy a lot of dried fruits. I picked up New Zealand sweet apple rings. I used to be addicted to these. Back in the day, I want to say like 2012, I would snack on them, but I, I was eating so many of them, it was like a bit much. I'm gonna open it here. I need to get one of those uh, like baggy, like those, um, you can basically take a bag you've opened and seal it. It's like a bag sealer. 
okay, that for bags that don't have seals. But this is an apple ring. I just love the texture of dried apples. Mmm. So good. Not mad at all that I bought these. Just be careful when you eat dried fruit because when you actually eat the fruit fruit, you get the water with it too. So just dried fruit, it's easy to eat and then you drink water and then you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm so full because everything expands in your stomach. I picked up some jalapenos for tonight, a garlic, because I knew I needed some garlic. I'm not sure for what yet, but I'll use it. Some limes for tonight. Oh, look how cute these are. I finally found these. There wasn't like a really big bucket, but I like saw them near the cash registers. Like a couple cash registers had these hiding by them. And these are the world's smallest tote bag. <laughs> like my haul would never fit in that ever, but it's cute. So if you open it on the inside, it's a bag within a bag, which is just so satisfying. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get the bag back in here, by the way. It's a portable tote bag, Trader Joe's. And fun fact, these are made in um, Cambodia. That is what Daniel told me, yeah, product of Cambodia. Pretty cool. But you can use the micro tote, you can put it in your bag, put like your loose coins in it. You can put, I don't know, what else does it recommend? Spare change, gum, keys, coupons, lip balm, doll weekender? I don't know what that is. Oh no, we've got a free range lime. Um, a high fashion clutch. <laughs> yeah, like, excuse me girls. And then, what else? Hairpins, earbuds. And then this one, obviously, choose your denture. But how fun is that? I just, I'm not gonna put it together right now because it'll be too hard. Um, for the pasta I bought, I picked up some of the vodka sauce. I love this. I'll, I'll actually add bomba sauce to this to make it a little bit spicier, but it's so good. My sister actually is the one that turned me on to this. Picked up some black beans for tonight, organic black beans, mangoes. The mangoes looked good. Uh, cilantro. Okay, and then I picked this up, organic raw pumpkin vinegar, unpasteurized and unfiltered. Here's the kicker, with the mother. What does the mother mean? I'm gonna try it. Okay. It's pump organic pumpkin vinegar water and acidity, okay. Smells very vinegary. Let me get a vinegary tasting. Okay. Am I gonna regret this? It kind of looks like soup. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Do you remember the balsamic vinegar thing? I'm gonna add it to a spin drift to see if it, how that tastes. I mean, vinegar is one of those nasty things that is like a cure-all for so many things. It really backs the thing that like the worse it tastes, the better it is for you. So you can kind of see the color. You can see how it changed the spin drift. It's got like a orangish hue to it. That's not bad. I would rather do balsamic vinegar and soda water because it does have the sweetness from the balsamic. This is more in line with like an apple cider vinegar. So I'm assuming it's similar qualities to apple cider vinegars. I just wanna know what with mother is. With the mother in quotes. That's what it says, with the mother, woo, in quotes. Okay, well, someone's gonna know. Oh no, okay. Organic oat chocolate bars, people really like that. Oh, people are saying the mother is the culture. That's cool, that's good to know. Cult cultural. Okay, I picked up the pumpkin Alfredo sauce. My mom just, <laughs> I talked to her on the way home from Trader Joe's and she said, you know what? She calls me Tishy. Tishy, I really just can't wait for all of the pumpkin stuff to be gone. I'm just so over it. Like what, what is this pumpkin Alfredo sauce? And I was like, funny you say that because I actually just bought it. So we're gonna try the pumpkin Alfredo sauce. I'm gonna need a spoon for that. And obviously this goes without saying, the pumpkin Alfredo sauce would be so much better heated up. But we're gonna try it like this. If you read the ingredients, it's essentially just Alfredo sauce, but with pumpkin puree added to it. Mm. This is the, on the nose, it just smells like garlic. 
and like it smells like Alfredo sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes delightful. Really good. You do get the pumpkin flavor at the end, but again, it's not pumpkin spice. It's just like pumpkin the squash, like a roasted pumpkin. Hmm. I don't think it's bad at all. That'd be really good. I would definitely add some like something to make it a little spicy because I love spice, but it's not bad. Um, truffle almonds. That was an impulse buy. That was like hanging on one of those things you walk by and I was like, ooh, must have that truffle. More dried fruit, the just mango. Love just mango. This has been my go-to like little sweet treat when I want something instead of like a cookie, I'll reach for this. Um, some marula, marula facial oil. That's great. That's good. I, I'll use that on like my body too because it's just it's so good. And then I picked up these um, ginger juice drink mix. I'm just gonna add it. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it to, these are cool. They're just little packets. One pack has 60 calories, quite a bit in here, so I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but like you could do it hot or cold. You can dissolve the packet. It's 100% just ginger juice drink mix. If you've ever tried to make a ginger drink, you know how long it takes to make because you have to peel the ginger and then you have to, that the whole process and then you have to like squeeze it and you barely get anything. So I'm not gonna add a lot, just a little. Now I need another spoon because I dropped my spoon on the ground. So now we're just going to whoops, drop this. Here we go. Oops. Hi, can you call me back in 30? Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I got a phone call. So now we're stirring it up. Whew. Sorry guys, everything froze. There is a very serious issue with the IG Live. Okay, so what I've mixed now is Spindrift with the ginger juice mix and a little bit of the pumpkin vinegar. I'm just gonna see how that tastes. That's good. It's much better than if you just do the pumpkin vinegar and the spindrift. Uh, what else I get? Um, sliced almonds, that's for my kale salad that I'm going to be making. I was gonna do pine nuts, but then I decided almonds sounded better. Guys, look what apples back. This is, these are called the Lucy Glow apples. And if you know about these, you know about them. I'm just gonna cut it in half. How cool. They're red on the inside and they're really, really good. Really, really good. So these are the Lucy Glow apples. They're like so good. They're bright red on the inside, super tasty. They're also, like they're not organic. A lady came up to me and she was like, oh, these don't have a nine on them. They're not organic. They spray the most disgusting pesticides on these things. I was like, okay, well I'll just wash them with my fruit and vegetable wash. But she was not happy I was buying them. But they are very good. So just wash your apples if they're not organic. Um, you know, just get the fruit and vegetable wash. But I did get a couple and these were sneaky. There wasn't a big sign up. I just saw a basket and I was looking at the name and I was like, yes, the Lucy Glows are back. So I picked those up. And I think that's it. So this whole haul, $167. Um, what am I most excited about? Hmm. Oh, that truffle cheese is really good. Where did it go? This one? That truffle cheese is really, really good. And then the chicken tiki masala. I'm excited to try this as well. I feel like I had it a long time ago, but yeah, those are the ones I'm excited for. And these are back, which is fun. Uh, so all this 167, thanks guys for checking this out. I'll post it to YouTube tomorrow and I'll be up on IGTV on Sunday and it'll have all the details, all the product ingredients, etc. Um, but sorry about the little disrupt with some of the technical difficulties that happens and I'll see you guys next week.